Growing up on the coastline, I was often in the kelp forests and the kelp beds, and we'd often be scuba in it, diving in it, pulling ourselves down the sipes and looking at the canopy swaying ahead. And I never had a clue of how it was going to affect my life. It represents a very specific ecosystem that linked to the people here. It's basically who we are. Just from a personal pleasure point of view, diving in kelp, you fly through the forest. You go down through the, the leaves, the fronds of kelp. Um, you look at all this stuff. It's like flying. Playing in kelp forests is like everything disappears. It, it's a thing of beauty. When I'm down there, the sounds and the voices and the noise of the world drown away. I could play a spiel with the kelp and the sand and that is a part of my life. Oh, there is always the kelp to fight. Then the snow is now the blare. Then it was always the same game spiel. It was a good cost to make or it was a fish that was caught. And it was good to be. The kelp is like a hole in the middle of the tunnel and it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. What's fascinating about kelp is that it is a pretty unique marine habitat and an important marine habitat. There's been a lot of research done worldwide and here in South Africa. Um, and a kelp plant is unlike um, a forest tree, which draws its nutrients from the soil, in that it's getting all its nutrients, everything it needs from the water around it. If kelp forests were, say our kelp forests, were to start thinning out and dying, it would be a, make a huge change to the whole ocean ecosystem. It, it would be pretty disastrous. It looks after so, so many species, and I think it's called a, a keystone algae. And literally, if you take kelp out of the environment, you're going to destroy it. So that's how important it is. That's all for my part. See all this. Um, the sin. He is not making kelp for the nak and kelp. Or that all it's about fear and the water. Yeah, well, that's all. 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 Well, that's Kelp is like a home to me. It's important because it protects our coastline. It's important because it provides me with the oxygen I breathe. It's a home to a plethora of our species. Without kelp, then an entire ecosystem disappears. Loss of environment it comes down ultimately back to a loss of self. The kelp, at the moment, it seems like it's expanding, um, but the changes in climate, the increase in sea temperature can and will have an impact on the forests, um, which is a real worry. Um, so we are monitoring that. The kelp like no reserve, no. As what I was a kid. When it comes to harvesting these, they can either be cut off at the base, if, if the harvester wants these stalks, and they use this, these stipes. They use it mostly for the uh, uh, plant growth stimulant. That kills the plant. Basically, that, it does not regrow. If you cut these leaves off here, and leave a bit at the base, it will regrow. So if you want some leaf material, the abalone farms do that often. They just cut off the leaves and that plant keeps growing. Um, Yeah, 
Even it and a kelp and the bona miss seven zao emission. Like food, vegetable, yachabis. So on the Tanda Lando, Bandi Bomba Yapis up as a child. Isa Lamata let Sana Lemba was over in Chalo. In Kanatari Chalo, a pande, it tangue. Veskas mine case a group from Minsa Vatala Bastan received mark. In that a so t shirt in the silago funny group. Dear Auntie Hilda, it for owns a group of people who have been in the world. We have a summer spread in the house, and the wolf doll was om to kijk na extra income for oneself. Dat het de inkomsten voor mij, want ik heb geen ander werkje. En dat helpt voor mij om voor en toe te gaan als woman in fisheries. O zal ik heel per die water uit, o spoel om af, maak om schoen. En dan maak ons om droog en dat in die zon, zo twee dagen. En dan gebruik ons het voor die sea salt en lettuce. Ik heb bijna geleerd van kelp en van... The sea lettuce, but the kelp is a belangrijk species for the sea and for us as men to break. It's becoming a little bit more trendy and popular to eat seaweeds, and among those, you can eat kelp. Um, you can make a very delicious lasagna using kelp fronds instead of pasta. What for me fascinating is, ons het dit as kinders geëet het. Es is iets niet voor ons wat ons nou in ons later jaren komt ontdekken, maar dat is een wow specie. Je weet. I don't think about food without thinking about kelp, so it's 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 just it's all encompassing for me now as a as a chef. Kelp lends itself in many ways to be a pasta substitute. So when you think of the flavour of pasta, it's it's quite bland. Kelp has more flavor than that, so it doesn't have a fishy flavor. It has an incredibly subtle umami, which is that savory, meaty flavor. Um, people often describe it as being clean in its flavor and fresh, fresh in its texture. It's very interesting. When people ask me what it tastes like, I tell them it tastes like kelp. One of the joys for me is seeing people's reaction to eating kelp for the first time. People come here with a sense of trepidation sometimes. So they might have been invited by a friend, but it's changing hearts and minds, which is the most beautiful thing for me, because at the end of the meal, most people that leave here are more than pleasantly surprised by the experience. So that's what it's about for me. My goal is to to try and capture what's underneath and bring it to the surface, you know, and like, it's unpredictable. But for me, you get a beautiful result, and that's that color blue, that Prussian blue colorway when you, when you wash your, your cloth, and it starts, you know, your, the chemistry starts dissolving and it fixes onto the cloth. Yeah, and the blue reveals itself. Um, you know, to me, that's very special. So today on the beach, we made cyanotype artworks using the sun and the UV to expose our photographs. We used some kelp that was washed up on the beach and we created our own artworks. That's the kelp that we printed from the beach today at Stanford's Cove. A little school of harders swimming off the surface. The kelp rising to the top of the water. Well, my journey into kelp forests and then capturing them through film and photography really started from when I was a child. I mean, I think this, the subject itself is so beautiful. It's one of the places I find myself most at peace. Kelp forests are just the most extraordinarily beautiful spaces. As a child, I always had a fascination with forests and to then combine that with the sea was just an added level of magic. I believe that it's human nature to love the things that we understand. But you can only understand uh, things when we are exposed to them, when we are 
support them. So for us to have more people, particularly people of color, adding their voices in the protection of the ocean, we need to invest in that education. It's, it's fairly difficult to actually have a white um, um, marine biologist advocating for kelp forest in a township to people of color. So what we're trying to do is actually to bridge that gap. We want to show the passion we've got uh, for the oceans because when kids look at me, they, I can see in their eyes that they believe and they become inspired like this. So we need our uh, role models. I think if more kids from Kailicha can be exposed to the ocean quite in an early age, then imagine how much more impactful and positive work can be done. Because the ocean needs advocates, and those advocates are roaming the streets of Kailicha as we speak. The West Coast, as you go up the West Coast, has a very particular um, atmosphere, a particular vibe to it, and that is largely created by the kelp. Kelp is, you know, they are the forests of the sea. Yeah, you need to explore them. One of my experiences as well is diving on a, on a, a beautiful sunny day and diving deep and then looking up through the kelp fronds to the surface. And the light penetrating them gives this beautiful golden aura. And these giant kelp forests are really amazing and they're worth conserving. It's a national heritage. Floating uh, uh, above this dancing, magnificent um, golden forest, it, it took my breath away. I've never in my wildest dreams uh, had imagined a forest that is functioning, uh, that is submerged underwater. It's inspired generations of marine biologists and it's a great environment to work in. It's, as I say, great to dive in, it's interesting, it's full of life, and I have no doubt that people are gonna keep working on kelp, they're gonna keep learning about kelp, and I think we're starting to appreciate what an amazing ecosystem the kelp ecosystem is.